The Trump administration is pushing to get American astronauts back on the moon by the year 2024. And as part of that mission, NASA is working to make the journey safer and more comfortable for the astronauts. Fox News correspondent Marianne Rafferty has the story. We are going to the moon in 2024, but we're doing it in a way that's never been done before. NASA unveiling two next generation spacesuits Tuesday as the agency plans a lunar mission as part of its Artemis program. NASA officials are over the moon about the upgrades. One of the things that's different about this suit is it's designed to be upgradable. So as technology gets better, we get smarter. This suit can be upgraded and it can, and it can be worked on in space by the astronauts. The first suit is called the Exploration Extravehicular Mobility Unit, which will be worn while exploring the surface of the moon's south pole. The white garment focuses on fit for all sizes and mobility when doing research. The more mobility you have, the more tasks you can get done, the more science you can accomplish. And the second prototype, the orange suit, is the Orion Crew Survival System, which was created for wear during the launch to the moon and re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. This is the suit that gets us there and gets us home safely. Earlier this year, NASA announced plans to put a woman on the moon by the 2024 deadline. Ahead of that goal, the agency plans to make history with the first all-female spacewalk with astronauts Christina Cook and Jessica Meir set to step outside the International Space Station to make a series of repairs Thursday or Friday. A female spacewalk was supposed to happen months ago, but the agency didn't have the right size spacesuits for the astronauts. Marianne Rafferty, Fox News.